quite simply a happy intercourse of mind and body. I saw quite simply a happy intercourse of mind and body. Lines as body and line body. Lines as body and line body. The images share the same recognizable, bold, determined configuration. Circulated pop, quotidian, and college culture. They were everywhere I didn't want to be. Shopping with my mother on clearance racks and second grade shopping mall. Cluttering 42nd Street in Manhattan on trips from New Jersey with my father to see rent after exploring the city. In banner ads for wall leaf and coffee mugs, cluttering the online magazine, I wanted to read in a piece liberated from Facebook before attempts at understanding my Most of my um, work centers around, I do writing and portraits and self-portraits and um, have recently, like in the past year, started getting into performance. And largely my work is a way for me to work through a sort of like difficult relationship that I have to my body as I transition. Um, I didn't really start creating or feel comfortable creating work or even having a voice to speak from until I started to transition. And I think that was because, um, for me at least, questions of like my body and what my body means as a prerequisite to be able to like speak and create are sort of like central to my work. Let them circulate in a main carnation, then they in screen paper. Let them circulate in a main carnation, Dancing and screaming. Teddy, Teddy, I walk in the city on the floor of freedom too. I'm in the media. Travel, travel, and in and out of freedom. No bar, bar, and ritual in the name of physical unbounded dancing. Even in spite of the funny thing of the thing. I recognize the lines in the subway station, holding on to their perfect name. Walking by, face up, up, airplane mode. Initially, it took us to an era where the city was animated by the citizen created public work on public surfaces. How beautiful a vibrant slash of colorful optimism in a cynical and cynically designed city. Lines and bodies. Congeniality and mood in their colorful movement, and also something other. Sinister, sardonic, and just too big in the predilection. What I really appreciate the moment that's happening now and what a lot of the artists that I look up to that are working through is that the generation of trans women before me and a lot of them that I talked to felt obligated to idealize sort of archetypes of women and archetypes of femininity and their entire lives and specifically sex work was a necessary almost universal path to getting to that point. Um, and I think we're at a moment now where there's like more open and complex notions of what it might mean to be not just a woman, but a trans woman. Mirages of greeting card sentimentality give way and with it the bastardized offspring of art as commerce. Leave behind the victim. Realize in a real city in transit where the nostalgic laments of the living legends of down and uptown bohemias need little citation in their jadedness. The loss of a zeitgeist, as such, noted, referenced in infinitum with paperwork to prove and expansive windows for scale. In neutral tone, cheap and derivative modernist condos. In neutral tone, cheap and riveted modernist condos. Over distributed objects of consumption circulate and saturate the liquidated markets of factory produced household shares, simultaneously supporting the foundation's enterprise and teaching me the fundamentals of a visual language casting of its grammatical structure in this form. A visual language casted of its grammatical structure in this form. 
Take care of the bread as simple as a living thing in the